Welcome back to Over the Hill Adventures. And as you well know on our channel, we do adventures, how-tos, and today we're gonna to do a little upgrade. SnapPad has reached out to us and asked us if we would try out their SnapPad for the tongue jack. And I go, what a novel idea. I would love to try that. Because for the last two trailers, I've been using this big block of wood that I've been putting my little tongue jack pad on. Because I, I know that if you put it down on the ground or, or if you put it on asphalt, if you put it on grass, or if you put it in mud, they sink. So they sent us out a snap pad and we're gonna try, try those out. Snap pad has revolutionized the RV industry with their leveling pads and snap pads. Right, and you know the nice thing is they're made in America too, and they're made with recycled rubber. So as of the end of 2022, they have recycled over 50,000 truck tires into snap pads. So you can imagine how durable they are. They have been tested to remain attached under 50 Gs of force, even under extreme heat and extreme cold conditions. So no wonder they are called the world's only permanent jack pad. And you know, who would have thunk it? Why doesn't the industry just put this as standard equipment? And it makes all the sense because if you know your trailer and if you have a load trailer, uh, travel trailer or whatever, and if you have these type of metal pads that you put down onto the ground, then you know they're gonna get bent up. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get, you know, they sometimes rust for one thing and they just don't become efficient. So I think today we're gonna to install that and we're gonna let you know what we think about it. I, I really think this is gonna be a great thing uh, as far as the tongue jack and I think every tongue jack should happen. Stan has just informed me that I'm gonna be doing the installation today. This is the snap pad. This is for the tongue jack. We have the five and a half inch diameter for our, I think they call it a mini pad, is that correct? and it's very sturdy like i was saying it's made out of recycled tires so it's 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 uh durable and it's actually very weighty so um first things first things all you're going to need to install this is the pad itself and some little bit of dawn or a little bit of dish soap and that's it so first thing we're going to do is clean stan's going to clean the foot and get it all ready to go. So you can see Stan's piece of wood there. This has been Old Faithful for the last two trailers, but three years. I've so, used the same block of wood. You're gonna miss it when it's gone. <laughs> well, no, I'm still bring it because there's some times where you have to level your trailer in it, and it, you need that, that range, you know? You know? You know what I'm talking about when it's not very level? Right. So this old faithful is going to stick with us for a long time. But basically, you want to make sure you clean everything off of there. And you can tell it has no, no dents. Nothing has happened to this because we basically have taken care of it with the block of wood. So what we're cleaning it with is the simple green. Okay, so it's important that you don't clean that or when you're doing this, use any petroleum-based lubricant like silicone or WD-40 because it will erode the snap pad because it is made of rubber. What we are installing this on is our Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL. It's a 2021. Had it two years, love this trailer. And this is just such a simple upgrade, that, but it's gonna make a huge impact. It's gonna have a lot to do with the stability of the trailer. So let's go for it, let's do this. I'm gonna put a little bead of, I'm not really sure to do this, but a little lubricant around. So when the foot, the metal foot goes down, it will just slip right in. And then it's supposed to make a distinctive snap sound, which I'm excited about hearing. <laughs> you hear so much about this. So we are excited to be partnering with them and doing this video 
giving this a try. As you can see, my fancy t-shirt. They're all about the outdoors, so I, and that's what we love about this company. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna get a little closer here because I'm not sure. Um... Now let's see if you put enough on there. <laughs> I think you should put more. You think I should put more? I think you should put more. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned because I want to hear the snap. Okay, I'm a very conservative person, so Stan. And I, I want to make sure you have a snap balance. Snap pad going forward too. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. So also, real quick, you can see the little uh, rain gutters in there. They are. They have room for the water to escape. Um, but it also says that you can put like a like flex seal on it, like a water repellent, if you're going to be sitting out in the water in the elements to help protect the foot. All right, here's the, the big moment, right? Okay, let me see. I mean, I feel like I could get a little bit more. Such a perfectionist here. Let me. Check it out. I'm probably making it harder than it is. You are. Am I? Should I just go for it? Go for it. Ah! And just like that. Snap pad. <laughs> As you can tell, it gives you a wider pad to to come down and from the material it's made from, it's gonna be great on asphalt surfaces. So if you have an asphalt driveway, it's not gonna sink into your driveway and wreck your driveway. So it's really awesome. You heard the snap. It works yeah. out great. Yeah. Thank well, you Snap Pads for entrusting us to do this video. Uh, and to just try it out. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel and give us a big thumbs up and uh ring the bell ring the bell that'll no notify you of other videos that come out in the future and we do release one a week all right till the next time god bless Should I just go for it go for it ah! and just like that snap pad <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome!